Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel, Pokemon Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. It's your boy Beegers, and we are back for the very next episode. In the last episode, we faced off with the second gym badge, Gardenia, if I'm not mistaken, that was her name, I think, I don't know. But we did face off with her, and we actually won. Unfortunately, we did lose a family member. I'm not going to do any spoilers, so if you haven't watched the last video, make sure you go ahead and do that. But, in this video, we actually are going to start off with a team recap and show you our new family member. And we're going to go take on Team Galactic in her, in their headquarters, I guess? I think it's their headquarters, but we'll see in just a second. First off, we have the little engine that could, Tusk the Fanfy. And in the last episode, again, spoilers, if you haven't watched the last episode, better go back and watch it. But Tusk took the entire gym on his back. The entire gym all to himself. <laughs> My boy! But Tusk has Takedown, Tackle, Rock Smash, and Rollout. Then we have my MVP, Cajun the Bayleaf, holding that Miracle Seed to power up the Razor Leaf, also with Cut, Synthesis, and Poison Powder. Yes, I did teach Cajun Cut at the moment. I wanted to get another encounter, and in, in hindsight's 2020. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. I can always go to the Move Deleter and get rid of it later on. But we also have our starter that you guys chose, Shenron, the Rayquaza. I have to just do a big announcement for him because he's the man with the plan with the green dragon in his hand. Twister's scary face, ancient power, and dragon claw. Then we have Dwayne the Rock, the Clefairy, holding that experience share with magic guard. I'm so excited. With Sing, Double Slap, Defense Curl, and Follow Me. We need to get that moveset better, actually. So I'm going to go over here to the TMs. And I hope you can learn Stomp. You can. And that Stab. Yeah. Shenron can learn Stomp. What's it going to use? Its tail? It has no legs. Besides for its little arms. Okay. But Stomp is 65 and may cause a flinch. Cool. I am going to take off follow me because I don't want anybody to follow Dwayne the Rock the Clefairy. Alright, we're going to get rid of that for Stomp. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Rock up front and see if we can't get any levels out of him. Alright, so let's get rid of this cut bush real quick, and before we go over there, I'm gonna cut this bush, because there's actually an item back here, and every item counts. So, what is this? Psycho Cut! That's power! That is power! That is a powerful, powerful attack! That is a very powerful attack! That no one can learn! <laughs> no one can learn! A powerful, powerful move that nobody can learn. Alrighty then. Alright, well, let's go on in here and see what these guys are doing. Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Alright, what do you have to say? Because we got double battle, double battle coming up. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? No. What, you're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager? So now you're kidnapping more than just Pokemon. You're kidnapping people as well. All right. I'm gonna bring Shenron up front as well because we, actually we haven't seen a lot of Shenron. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with Dwayne the Rock Clefairy. And face off against these two galactic grunts and see what you guys have for me. I'm not scared of you in the slightest. Okay, maybe a little bit scared. That is a shaman. And shaman is a big is a biggie. Is definitely a biggie. Um 
I'm almost positive Shenron can take care of Shaman, and I'm gonna stomp this Firo. Why did I do that? No, 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 no. I, I lied. I'm gonna stomp the Shaman because Shenron can take care of Firos. How many times can you say S in one sentence? Sally says seashells by the seashore. And I don't even know if that came across correctly. So I'm gonna get a little bit of drink of water because I'm a little parched. While that Firo goes down. Okay. Uh, oopsie. It showed something. Oh well. And magic leaf. Magical leaf. That ain't gonna do anything to either one. So we're gonna stomp you, and that doesn't do anything either. There is a Mantike, so I'm gonna stomp the Shaman again, and Ancient Power this Mantike as well, because Mantike's also a flying type. So we get rid of that, Magic Leaf ain't gonna do anything. All right, so we're gonna stomp you again, and we are going to see Dragon Claw actually for the first time. The powerful animation just gets rid of the screen. Bye, Shaman. I said bye-bye. All right, Shaman is out of here, and the rock gains level 17. Awesome! A cloister. A cloister. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use Sing on you because you're an Ice type as well. But we should be able to get rid of you with Ancient Power, actually. Right? It's super effective. Okay, and Cloister is out of here. Alright, get rid of the cloister. Cloister. I, I like saying it that way. Cloister. Alright, so we're gonna go over here and we are gonna go into our bag and we do not have a lot of healing items. Oh no. But I am too stubborn. I am not gonna leave. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. You're a trainer! Our objectives are incredible! Too incredible for me to understand! How if I blindly to defend them? And your intrusion won't be forgiven. I was not expecting you to be a trainer, actually. I was expecting you to just say something stupid so I could go along my way. You have a Probo Pass! Okay, Probo Pass that that is! Kishin, come on out! Magnet bomb ain't gonna do anything, and I'm not a fairy type yet, so it's not super effective. And Cajun should be able to get rid of this Probo Pass pretty easy, actually. It's just gonna take a little bit because Probo Pass is. I say this a lot, but it's a big mon. All right, that was a. Did that say Happini? Did that say Happini? No, Manaphy. I was completely off. No, Cajun, come back out. And I really hope you don't have Tail Glow. I'm a little scared of Tail Glow. Not anymore, because Cajun, my MVP, has got this. And grew to 20. Yeah, we're getting the squad to 20. I got you. All right. So, are you a You are a trainer, too. I thought you guys were just going to talk to me. A hunch crow. That'd be good experience for the rock. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring out. We're gonna have to find a way to bring out. Ooh, that was a pursuit, which did a lot of damage. I completely forgot about pursuit. No lie. Minimize! Yes! 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 I am taking minimize with. Yes, definitely. Because those are the strats I like to do. Now all we need is, like, Toxic that we can put on Clefairy, and we win. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back into my bag. Do I have berries? I have no berries. I have not been picking up berries. Well then. Um, Super Potion, should I use that? No. Okay, I'm gonna use two potions. One potion on the rock, and one potion on Cajun. Now... I know you're a trainer, so we're gonna go ahead and battle you real quick, like, and see what you have. A Spiro, okay. You should be able to take care of him, right? There you go, Dwayne the Rock is stepping on your face. <laughs> um, I, I'm not reading. I'm not reading in the slightest. I should just keep it on set, to be honest, instead of shift. 
And if anybody doesn't know what that means, that's a Garchomp. That's a Garchomp. That that's a big boy. That that's that's a pseudo. Bye pseudo. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anybody doesn't know what set and shift means, what it actually means is... How, how do I phrase it? In a situation where the next Pokemon comes out, and it asks you, Hey, do you want to switch or not? It actually won't do that in set. It'll just keep the same Pokemon out no matter what. It actually makes it a little harder, and it's actually really good for speed runs. Which, I'm not a big speedrunner, but I might do one eventually, but I, I don't think so. I just enjoy playing the game, to be honest with you. So you're gonna talk some nonsense, and then I'm guessing you're gonna fight me. Yep, yes indeed you are, but you're not a Team Galactic member. Why are you here, scientists? And why are you fighting me? I'm trying to help you guys. Oh, that was a big foot! <laughs> It got rid of that Phoebus real quick. All right. I guess we got another person. Uh, he looks more like an old guy. What is, what is with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? You took my rock. No, you took my rock. Now, I have to beat you senselessly. Sen 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 I'm going to beat you hard. <laughs> and I know I did this voice for Mars. And I think... Mm, I think this is Saturn. I think that's her name. I can't remember. But I'm going to do the same exact voice. And then when we get to, you know, the big boss, he'll have his own voice as well. So, let me see if I can remember it. It was a Hey, Screechy Woman! Hey, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask! You want to free the Pokémon? Yeah, that's not gonna happen! Yes, it will. Because the rock is on my side! No, you're Jupiter! Okay, so we have Mars and Jupiter. You have an Absol at level 18. I'm not scared of this Absol. I know you have, you can have Sword Stance. I'm gonna hope I hit this Whipped Up a Whirlwind. That's Razor Wind or something like that. Okay, which is that a flying move or normal? I think that's normal. Um. Hmm, everyone's level 20 right now. You have two mods. I'm going to attempt. And we live that easily. Okay. Oh, I fell for the taunt. All right, so that means we're just gonna have to stomp you to death. Let's get rid of this episode. Stomp. That was a crit. I don't like that! Why'd you have to do that to me? That wasn't very nice. The rock is a steel cage that will not be beaten. Alright. Taunt again. Haha! <laughs> I used stuff this time. Did that say Electabuzz? I think it said Electabuzz. I am terrible at predicting when I try to use the speed up button. That is a Ludicolo. And Tusk does not need to be out here in the slightest at all, actually. So, Cajun, come on out, please. All right. Mega Drain ain't gonna do nothing. And you avoided my Razor Leaf. Why are we missing so much? And that does nothing. All right, Poison Powder. We're gonna have to use these stall tactics. And we're gonna use Cut because that should be more effective. Actually, it was not. Well. I am all over the place today. All over the place. And I'm thinking that was a berry. But we're gonna have to just spam Razor Leaf right now. And actually, I'm gonna use Synthesis this time. It should... What? Oh, you must have flinched me. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, how do we miss Synthesis? <laughs> 
try attack. That's gonna do a little bit of damage, but we got you. And the rot grew to 21. Nice, 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 nice. Screechy, screechy woman. Oh, well, aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Wind Works. We've pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I changed that voice like three or four times in the midst of that. And no lie, that voice hurts a little bit. But it's all right, we got through it. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you. What? That's my Clefairy. That's the rock. You, you, you see why Clefairy keeps looking at me? Clefairy's my Pokemon, not yours! But, yeah, Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they've gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? So that means we can finally get the bike. Awesome. Okay, and I don't think there's any items in this in this building, so I'm not really gonna check except for this trash can. Nope, and it's empty. All right. But we are going to head on out. Now that we have beaten Team Galactic. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick like and then I'm also going to go to the bike shop and go get our bike but in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and give you the question of the day that I actually forgot to change whoopsie so um hmm what's my question of the day gonna be hmm I don't know <laughs> After all that, I don't know. I don't know what I want to name it. And I passed the bicycle, sh bicycle shop trying to think of the name, too. Um, eh, this is what the question's gonna be. Real quick and easy. What's your favorite Gen 1 game? Red, blue, yellow. What's your favorite? Honestly, I'm, I think red would be my favorite. I know yellow's a little bit harder, and it has level boosts and stuff, but I don't like starting with Pikachu. I'd rather start with my own starter, and red's my favorite color. So, I'm gonna say red. Alright, so we can head over here now, and we can actually get an encounter. Well, maybe not. We gotta fight a trainer first. So, what do you have for me, Axel? A Swallow. Okay, so... You're going to be a pain. I'm gonna bring in Shenron and just try to get rid of you. Ah, No, you don't do that. <sighs> Shenron is asleep. We need the Dragon Balls. And we wake him up! Alright. So, I'm trying to dodge these trainers, because I really want to just get an encounter real quick. And we dive, and up, and we move, and we're too quick. Ha ha ha, we too quick. We quick, and not as quick as I was hoping. <laughs> Alright, well, we got to face another trainer. Oh well, a Sunkern, okay. See, I like just seeing these mons, these different types of mons and stuff. That That's always fun in a randomizer, because you never know what's going to pop up. Actually, haven't we seen Arceus a few times now? I think we've seen Arceus like two or three times now. Alright, we're going to cut this bush, and we're actually going to get an encounter on Bicycle Path. No, we're not. 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 I just realized... Because last time I went to the Mart, we didn't have any very very many healing items, but we have plenty of Pokeballs. Okay, so we are going to get an encounter real quick. 
I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to yet. But we are. We are indeed going to get an encounter. A dusk stone. Okay. So we'll be able to involve some mons later on. And I'm going to try to dip, dip, dodge, and dodge. And I thought there was a cave back here. It might be a little further. And our encounter, sir, encounter on bicycle path is a hound doom. Awesome! It's a hound doom. All right. So I don't want you to be killing me. You know, that fire type would have been good on the team. No lie. <laughs> fire types just don't like me. Alright, 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 alright. So, no encounter on Bicycle Path. Alright. Well, I'm going to dodge you and hope that I can get into. They were coughing. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, you turn all the way around. I didn't want to fight you But if we have to destroy you we have to destroy you Goldine is out here. We're gonna stop again and try to get rid of this Goldine pretty quick like There we go. Dwayne the Rock Clefairy is out here, and you're gonna learn wake up slap Yes, yes, please. Let's get rid of double slap for wake up slap. I am perfectly fine with that. And that is a low tag. We are going to keep you out. And we are going to keep hitting stomp. And just get rid of these mons real quick, real easy like. Alright. You are out of here. Now, where is this cave entrance? I know. Hey, hey, did I find it? Do I need strength? Oh, no. Can I get an encounter, though? I don't know if I can just in this one spot. Uh, is there another way to get into that cave? I didn't think we needed strength. Okay, we can go up here though. Wayward cave, it's the same exact cave. And this is actually where you can get Gibbite for the first time. So. What kind of encounter are we going to get in here, services? Huh. A Mantine. Okay. Mantine's not bad. That's a flying and water type. That's not bad, actually. If I had to choose a flying and water type, though, it's going to be Gyarados. It's not going to be a Mantine. But Mantine's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep spamming minimize because I want to be able to use sing and sing is hard to hit So now that our Efficiency is we should be at max, right? Yeah, we're at max. Okay, so we are gonna use Wake up slap because that's not gonna hurt you very much. Ooh, that doesn't hurt you at all actually So we're gonna use stomp Because stomp's gonna do some more damage and now we just need to get you to how did you hit that? Get you to the red, and now we're gonna use Sing. Perfect! We hit Sing on the first try. Now, Matane, can you stay in the ball? One, two, three. Oh, sad face. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna use a Pokeball again, and I'm gonna let you guys know I have a name for him, but I need to look it up. Because if I don't look it up, I'm gonna misspell it or not know it exactly. So I'm gonna keep chucking Pokeballs at you real quick, and I'm going to see what this guy's name is. Da da da. Um. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. I have the name. There it is. Okay, I got the name. I got the name. It's a perfect name. I just need you to stay in the ball. 
Why do you shake three times and not stay in your ball? Come on, Matan, and you're asleep. Stay in the ball for me, please. There, thank you. See, I just had to be nice. Okay, so we caught the Matain, the kite Pokemon. All right, so I have a perfect name for you, and it's actually the Stingray from Finding Nemo, which his name is Mr. Ray. So, Mr. Ray, welcome to the family, and you're actually holding an item. Cool, okay, so what are you holding? Mr. Ray, you're holding a TM. Your naive nature with water absorb. Bubble, supersonic, bubble beam, and headbutt. That's not bad. It's, I don't want you on the team, honestly, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I got something that you don't like, and you were holding snore. I don't like that. I don't like that. So we're going to try to run through this grass real quick, like, and get over to a Pokemon Center so we can deposit Mr. Ray real quick. And then we're also going to see what else Sinnoh has in store. Because I actually don't know what comes up next, to be honest. Is there an item over here? We have cut, so why not check? And... A Destiny Knot. That doesn't do anything for me because we are not breeding. So, oh well. That might actually be some money, come to think of it. Don't, no, 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 no. I was not ready for a rival battle. Don't tell me we're in a rival battle. Oh my gosh. Hi, Biggers. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me, I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. <laughs> but this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Which hand would you want? I'm going to say right. I see you want the Burst Seeker. I'm impressed, Beers. You know what's important. We got the Burst Seeker. Okay, that'll be good for grinding. Using that Burst Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Beers, do you also have a Potec? You do? You can have this too, then. You deserve it. All your hard work, Beers. The Drowsing Machine. The Drowsing Machine app locates unseeable items. I will probably have to use that during some of my grinding so I can pick up a few items. The Drowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell if there is an item on the ground that you can't see. It will especially useful inside dark caves. Wink, wink. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Rowan is counting on us. Oh. <sighs> I was really scared of a rival battle right there. No lie. Okay, well, that means, and I know exactly where we're at. So we'll, now that we have the bike, we can actually go up there, but we are back in Orenburg City. Cool. So I'm gonna use the Poke Center real quick. And then we are actually gonna call it a little bit early today. And we're gonna call it an episode here. And in the next episode, I'm gonna see if I can actually Go underground and get a few fossils and see if we can't get a few fossils for encounters because that would be really really useful so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button for me because it is greatly 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 appreciated and if you're brand new it's your boy Beegers and I would like to welcome you to the family by hitting that subscribe button and that's about it <laughs> and make sure you comment on the question that I told you guys and I keep forgetting to change the question of the day but it's okay so the question of the day was what was your favorite gen and your gen 1 game red blue or yellow leave that in the comment section for me and I'll give you the sign off one more time it's a pleasure 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 making these videos it you see the smile on my face? I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes me feel amazing. 
And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. I, I want to know. Leave a comment down below if you're feeling a little spontaneous or you just want to say hi on the question of the day or not. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. And I will see you guys in the very next episode. I will see you guys very, 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 very soon.